Anywho, we are at a land clearing project this week. Oh man, clearly I'm tired. We uh, got here. Um, I think we're probably going to do probably a half day. I want to go see the Barbie movie. It's stupid. I know. Whatever. We're getting a little late start on recording this week because um, Nels didn't really have service this week. And so his phone kept dying in the middle of nowhere because he was listening to music because he was out here doing the land clearing project and so he doesn't really have any time to record um and i was at my other job full time so i'll show a little bit of the land clearing um that i recorded just a little time lapse um but yeah so i think we're gonna probably go to the barbie movie i don't know nels doesn't seem excited nor he does he seem like a pose so whatever i guess we'll go um but yeah, this morning we stopped at, Nels has been like raving about a uh, Taco Bell breakfast. So we stopped at the Taco Bell he's been stopping at and he's been using an alias because he doesn't want them to um, recognize him as a frequent flyer. So he's been using the word Mike. And I just think it's so funny. But anyways, he said Taco Bell breakfast, 10 out of 10. He said it's cheap. The coffee's good. He's been getting like, I don't, I have no idea what his order is, but it's his go-to. Um, but yeah, he's just, he's just silly. Oh, getting a phone call. Hold on. All right. I told him we stopped at Taco Bell. So what's your order? All what right. are you addicted to, Mike? I, uh, I like the cheesy toasted uh, bacon burritos. And what kind of coffee? You got coffee. Well, I got like the Cinnabon Delight coffee. The coffee's all right. I'm 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 more so going for the the burritos because they're like half the price of gas station burritos. So being a thrifty guy. Thrifty, yeah. Except for when he texts me all day and says that his tummy hurts. But he says it's good. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Mm -hmm. On the road again. What are we doing? We're going to look at jobs. Woo! Potential jobs. We have four bids. So busy morning. So four bids. I strategically planned them so we can have kind of like a day and a half off. So we're going to try to hammer them out. And then go to a little birthday party. Nels's goddaughter um, and her sister are turning one. So uh -huh. a whole one. A whole one. Well, they actually turned one, but we are super excited to see and, them. And as somebody has mentioned on Facebook, it's not just a celebration, like a birthday celebration. It's also a celebration that my friend and his girlfriend were able to keep two babies alive for a whole year so yeah that's super silly but we are really excited we love them so we're gonna go do that and then hang out with them for a bit celebrate them um and then probably try to hammer out bids so we can i don't know get them out and we can get jobs we have a couple other jobs lined up um but it's always good to i don't know have something on the books Especially now that we're coming into August, it's crazy. This yeah. like summer flew by really, really, really fast. Um, to think we're already like, I don't know, just crazy. Going into, it will be our fourth year, coming in a couple of months here, going into our fourth year, so. Um, well, next year will be fourth year again. Well, yeah, but starting in October, October is our anniversary of starting the company. Yeah. So, and I consider that like the start the next year will be our fourth season. Because we started in... Oh, this is our third year. Yeah, this is our third year. Yeah, but we started, we started in 2020. So 21, 22, 23. So next year will be our fourth, fourth year. Our fourth season. You gotta count it as season. You can't count it I as season. I suppose, yeah. So, yeah. so then, yeah. In my mind, it makes sense. But saying it out loud, man, it's too early for math. And it's only one hand that we're counting on, too. No, it'll be our first, or it'll be our third full year in business. Yes. Yeah, okay. But that's, if you counted years, yes. then it's fourth. Then it's fourth. 
Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Because I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I know we will be in business for four years. But, oh, man. It's crazy to think because when we first started, we didn't even know. I don't know. It just, it flew by. Everything flew by. And all the things that we didn't know and have now come, like we've been, like our DOT audit, like that was something that I was really nervous about. Got our DOT audit. That was great. Um, I'm in the middle of an unemployment audit. That's just a random, super easy. I literally have one employee, so that'll you be good. Keep in mind that Alexis says that all this is easy and goes good, but it only goes that way because Alexis is good at what she does. Oh, that's so let's take a little moment to recognize the fact that Alexis is very good at her job as the owner of this company and you know the uh, the office person. Yeah, no, it's true. I keep um, all my records pretty good, so she. Well, also something that we should talk about, Alexis just got her DBE certification, which if you know anything about that, is hard as heck to get. Lots of people end up having to hire lawyers to do it, yeah. and Alexis is so organized. She had all the paperwork at her fingertips, any documentation she had, where people normally probably have to take you know, a week or two to try to track this stuff down or get copies of stuff, Alexis takes such good care on her end that she had it all within an hour of something requested it was returned yeah. and it was still a long process but Alexis fought through it and she is now DBE certified she is a our business is a certified business Alexis's business is you know like unfortunately how does that work like Alexis owns a company, but she still had, you know, government stuff. Yeah. And Alexis is set up to play ball with the government. So yeah, so cool. it's really exciting. It's one of those things that's really intimidating. Um, I, it's, a, it's just a pretty long process. It's pretty, pretty um, involved. Um, I was a little nervous about it, but. Now, something else to keep in mind, this was a federal certification, correct? Correct, yeah. So. Oh, look at a deer in town. Now we. Alexis, I should say Alexis, Alexis has uh, filed for the state level certification in that, you know, they didn't think that there was enough showing that she, you know, actually worked at her company, which she does. Like, there's literally videos and yeah. pictures of her working. But, so she withdrew that application. That was last year. Um, they basically said there wasn't just like enough evidence because I work full time outside of my business, which, you know, my business is full time. Um, but I was able to prove federally, um, to the federal certification that, yeah, I work in my business. Um, and that's just really exciting because I was nervous about it. And everyone who talked with me, they're like, oh, you're, you probably won't get it. You will have to withdraw. You'll have to, you know, basically quit your full time job to even prove. And, um, yeah, I was very honest with everything and it went really well. And I think what's also frustrating too is, you know, like who else is gonna pay for my business um, besides, you know, me working. And that was also something I, you know, I kind of brought up too, cause there's, there's an interview process and it was two and a half hours um, and we went through everything. And I also think that's one of the things too, like I never skipped a beat, I never hesitated. I had access to everything. I, I know my business so well. I'm very, very, very hands-on. When I'm not at my full-time job, I'm, you know, literally doing Big Wolf stuff. Alexis is so involved that we have a bookkeeper that does payroll and all that stuff, like QuickBooks. Alexis has learned how to do all of this. Alexis does it. Alexis doesn't. Alexis does it. The lady does it. Alexis makes sure it's correct and back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, and I love her and she's great. Um, and my original, I wanted to hire somebody to do that stuff because I don't want to mess with taxes. And it's one less thing I had to worry about is paying our taxes. Um, and she, she's she been doing great. And But we, we worked really hand in hand. I do all of our bookkeeping because, again, I want my hands um, on everything because it's my business. And I want to make sure I know where everything's going um, just because I it's my business. And... She, she's great. She's also very much um, helpful. And if I have a question, I can go to her for something because again, I mean, accounting and all that stuff is not my background. Um, but yes, I love her and I'm just super happy that I had this huge audit that came up. Um, 
that was a little intimidating and I was able to get that done. And again, I won't hear back because he, it takes them a while. It's, you know, it's state stuff, government stuff. So he said he'll probably get to it in like the next month or two once he gets all my paperwork, all my paperwork's in. Um, and that will be a walk in the park because again, I literally have one employee. Um, and then, yeah, my certification was really a big deal. I had to, I, it's a long application. Again, I had access to everything and it was at my fingertips. So, you know, uploading it and doing all that was a walk in the park. And then finally got uh, this like, interview <laughs> interrogation really really nice guy that I worked with um, but we were on the phone for two and a half hours we even I went out and showed him that like yes I can operate my equipment even and I kind of walked him through that he thought it was super cool um, and then just kind of a little back and forth follow-up questions he honestly had us worried at one point yeah yeah I, I was a little worried because there was some questions that came up that, um, and he was honest with, like, these are the things that they're probably going to be a little, um, like, question that are going to be questionable it, on their end. It came down to financing. If you've yeah. ever dealt with any sort of financing, you know, it's a mother lover. Yeah. Right? Especially yeah. starting a, a new business. Like, no one wants to give you any type of funding because they're like, well, who are you? I'm going to make a little side note here. If you are starting a business, go to Caterpillar. Because Caterpillar is going to deal with you. They're going to help yeah. you out. They're going to put in that skid steer that you wanted. That yeah. mini hole that you wanted. Yeah. Um, you know, they, the interest rates and stuff, you know, are they're probably... They're competitive. Competitive. They're competitive. They're going to take a chance on you. So, yeah. For the most part. I guess, you know, you might have really bad credit or something. Right. We have... Well, Alexis has good credit. The yeah. business should have good credit at this point. But I wish we would have went to Caterpillar right away. Yeah, it, you, you live and learn. You don't you don't always know. It's not, not something you think about because we were turned down. Or I was turned down so many times of, you know, attempting to even get, like, the smallest loan. Um, and, yeah. But anyways, super excited. I can't believe I got that. I was, like, in awe. I got the email, and then he actually called me to congratulate me that I was um, approved into the DBE certification. Um, and then I sent off an email because there's potentially, like, some sort of reciprocity application that I could do. So now, yeah, this part's good because so the state won't give her the certification, but now she's went to the federal government, gotten her certification through them, and there is a reciprocity between uh, the federal and the state yeah. certification. So she might not even have to deal with that again to right. try to get the state certification. Um, and and again, I did I did the state one a year ago, and then he they basically advised me to withdraw. So I actually withdrew my application um, from the federal side too because I was like, well, if I can't get the state, I clearly can't get the federal. And then this year I was like, you know what? Um, I was working with this guy. He's amazing. He's now moved on. But um, I was working with him through a Native American um, like business consulting type government stuff. And um, he, he, he encouraged me to do the federal one. I'm like, okay, you're right. Let's do this. Um, anyways, since, since we did the application and um, he pushed me to do it. He has since gone on, but I, I emailed him the moment I got my congratulations and that I was approved and he was just as ecstatic and I love that. Miss him. He's a great guy. Um, we actually almost met like weekly this winter um, over the phone and uh, just kind of, he helped me walk through a couple different things with my business and yeah, I miss him. He was great. But um, doing the federal one, I think made me a little more confident that I could potentially get the state one, but I didn't know that there was like some sort of reciprocity. So we'll see how that goes. Um, sent off that email and then, yeah, so gosh, it's pretty wild to think that like that was like something heavy on my shoulders. Like it was just something I thought about daily, I kept checking my email. Um, nervous because he, you know, he told me what day they were meeting to actually like vote on you. Uh, I was nervous about that and then when I saw his name on my email I was like oh gosh and then it's like congratulations and then I got his phone call and I'm like oh my gosh I can't believe it so um, but yeah so that was that was super cool um, I think I feel really good about it because I was again I was really confident because like I know I work in my business um, but it's hard to prove that to people who you know one never don't know you don't see you up at 10 o'clock at night on QuickBooks don't don't see you working on Sundays um, you know, sending out estimates. So yeah, but I'm glad, really exciting. 
because I also didn't know like if I withdraw it's like so do I have to quit my full-time job in order to prove that I'm full-time in my business and that's just not a fair thing no How is that a fair, like it's just not right yeah they make it they make you jump through hoops and, and again I, I doubled advocate I get why they make people jump through hoops because there is a lot of people who you know I mean honestly how many businesses especially of that you know that caliber are going to be completely you know financially independent to the point where it's going to pay for the business plus pay, know, your pay me yeah. yeah pay me yeah yeah because really, I mean, my, my full-time job pays for our house. Um, so everything can go into our business, really. The business pretty much at this point just pays for itself. Yeah. Is what it does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're, it's getting, it's getting better. It's getting better because our first year, you don't, you don't know finances, like how it's going to be, what you're spending, what's going out, like, you know, and then the second year you're still kind of learning may have a little bit of a handle the third year I feel like I have the best handle on my finances granted we're only we're only getting bigger so the bigger you get the the more goes out <laughs> um, unfortunately. unfortunately but the more that goes out the more opportunity we have for you know like the biggest purchase we had was our excavator and that's um, let's say because I, I don't I don't again I don't like to gatekeep so that's about twenty five hundred dollars um, a month for, for that payment. Um, but again, that's bringing us 10 plus thousand dollars worth of work a week, you know? So it's like, where is that? Potential. Yeah, that potential is there. So, so anyways, that's good news. Um, but we're gonna head to these bids and I'll probably upload this here um, to get it uploaded by Sunday. But yeah, do you know where we are? No. Okay, sounds good. I gotta go help navigate. All right, All right we did it. We got all of our bids done, all four, got them all done. And now it's time to go party. <laughs> like, you know, it's a one-year-old party. It's our one, two one-year-old party. Double, double trouble. Double trouble. So now it's time to go party. But man, I gotta edit this stuff and get it up because I am, I'm running behind this week on editing. Cause I just, it just, this week flew by. And oh, I, it, and then of course with like my audits I talked about earlier, I was kind of in the middle of doing all that stuff. And then um, my certification stuff, I was a little anxious about that. So when I finally heard that, oh, felt so much better about life. Um, but yeah, so glad we did that, got up early. And now we kind of have like, just like a day and a half to just chill. Just exist. Just exist. Oh yeah. Do they have swings? I'm a child at heart. No, they have swings oh, in the yeah. I made Mills stop at a park so I could swing because it looked like a really cool swing. Because I'm a child. Mm -hmm. But this park over here looked really cute. And I was like, oh, that looks like really cute. Okay, I shouldn't be telling people this. I shouldn't be posting this on our social media because people are going to be like, she's a weirdo. But people already probably think I'm a weirdo. Eh, I'd rather be a weirdo than someone being like, man, she is boring. Alright, do you want to go get food or yeah? Because yeah, we've been talking about food for the last hour. Yeah, I was gonna say, Nels, Nels is getting hangry. He's like, We should have had breakfast before we left. I'm like, Bro, you sat on your phone for like an hour before we left. You could have made yourself breakfast. Did he? No. I had something for breakfast. So, and I even got ready, I showered. But man for themselves huh? yeah I gotta worry about what I'm putting into my body and my nutrients that was like the thing like ever since I had gastric bypass I was like I gotta worry about what I'm doing can't worry about you sorry sorry boo all right anyways maybe we'll see you next week I don't know next week is just oh, summer's so hard to record and do everything but anyways do you want to say bye say bye okay he's Bye. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Say it again. Like, comment, subscribe. It's... We appreciate you watching. Love you. Bye.